Sports, it's in the game. Run it back, love everything I ever wanted, want it back. Got a problem, never run from that. On with that, get the W, then double back. That, that, shit. Watch how I react, fight back, stay down. Now we taking no Promise you, if anybody can, hold me, I can. The right man, baby, I'm my own hype man. Yeah. Run it back, run it back, run it, run it, uh, run it back, run it back. Run it, run it, ooh, run it back, run it back, run it, run it, run it back, run it back. Uh, Bottles, not taking photographs. Run it back, look at the photographs. Run it back when I told the rest. Run it back, ultra, ultra, ultra fast. I ain't with the fuck the dash. Run it back, I'm running back. Face back with the show. Run it back, what you back? You think I want to go back and black? Bobby, run it back, and you see how I act. Then I laugh, feeling like a fatal heart attack. I died for that. Stress about it. I think less without it. I'm a cat at anything that's in my sight. Feeling myself high key. Running back. Let me have it back. I'm a cat at anything that's in my psyche. Feeling myself high key. Yes, like that, like that, like that. Solo might be right back, right back, right back. Oh, yes, like that, like that, like that. I yeah, told him I'd be right back, right back, right back. Running back, running back. Told him put the money in the back. Double that. Run it back, run it back. Told him put the money in the bag. Double that, double, double that. Run it back, run it back. Run it, run it, run it back. Run it back, run it, run it, run it back. Run it back, run it, run it, run it back. Run it back. Run it back, run it stack. In the trunk with his fire tag. Punch the gas, run it to the future. It's the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find the hole. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. On first down, it's gone. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there on that second down. One thing you have to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air. And I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. They'll fake the handoff. Now gone. This one swung out to Montgomery. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Goff throwing again. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. On the carry, it's Montgomery. And they'll get him down inside the red zone at the 14. It's also a gain of 14. First down. 
Play action. It's gone. Complete to right. It'll be a gain of five. And it'll be second down. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. On second down, here's Goff. Flushed out right. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. Jared Goff. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Lions are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. Extra point by Patterson up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And he is out of bounds as they'll start up past the 30. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at the 33-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. On second down, Jackson. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Jackson on first down. And incomplete on the deep ball. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Again on second and ten, it's Jackson. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he's taken down inside the 30. First and ten, it's Jackson. That's complete to his receiver, Bateman. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They run for the first time with Justice Hill. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. Second down and eight. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson, 15 yards. And the Ravens are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. And this defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one, and in this portion of the field where things shrink a little bit because the receivers can't run past anyone because they'll run out of real estate, you should have all eyes on Lamar Jackson when the ball is snapped and try and keep it back in the pocket. Yeah, I don't think that they were surprised he was running it there. They just couldn't stop him, and he ends up in the end zone. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown in their last time out. Look and repeat that Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Throwing on third, golf. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Patrick Queen. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. 
Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a the pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit. That's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw and it turned into an interception. Jackson. He finds Bateman over the middle. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Rashad Bateman on a touchdown throw from Lamar Jackson. And the Ravens have taken the lead. Tucker with the extra point. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Gone. That is caught by Laporta. Yeah, he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. From the gun, it's a give to Montgomery. Yeah, he'll be pretty well stopped in his tracks. Give him a yard up to the 42. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. Out of the gun, they'll give to Gibbs. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, helped their spot, and stacked him up. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 25-yard line. Montgomery back to the ground. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Second and 10. From the gun, here's gone. And he's going to go down here and sack. They push him back to the 34. They dial up the corner blitz that time, and it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage is awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bring up fourth down. Sidelines and Detroit has Riley Patterson out there for the field goal. 
On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. Patterson's kick is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Jackson on first down. He'll throw complete to Gus Edwards. And that worked this well on the field across the 45. It's a one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Here's Jackson to throw. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And he'll be taken down after a gain of about eight, as that will lead us to the two-minute warning. On second down, Hill. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And all the way in for the Ravens touchdown. Just as Hill, 44 yards. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes it a 21 to 10 game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. The Lions need to move. They're hustling to the line now. On second down, Montgomery. And this will light up a Lions first down as the tackle made it about the 43-yard line. And they're trying to line up quickly here. Goff urging them on. They'll look to throw here on first down. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and it'll be second in a couple. Now Goff looking to change the play. Second and two. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Montgomery. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. From the gun on third down, Goff. And that is incomplete. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. They have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. Able to find the open man. That's complete. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. So after the big play on fourth, here's first and ten. Now gone. He'll go right back to St. Brown. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Off play action. Here's gone. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. And he is caught. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. 
Ravens ready to receive it. And they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. The fair catch taken short of the goal line, and they'll begin this third quarter at their own 25. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense. He's got a man complete. Down the left sideline. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews, 75 yards. And the Ravens come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Tucker with the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Off in this Lions offense, set for a first and ten at their own 25-yard line. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Now it's Goff off the bootleg. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. And this drive was almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. This pass complete to Reynolds. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. How about that? They weather the storm of a third and 17 to pick up the first. First down, he's right. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. He's got this to Williams complete. Now he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Flush to his right. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. And they're going to speed things up here. Play action. It's gone. Rush coming in. He's taken down. Patrick Queen got in there to stick him. He gets the sack. There's a reason it's our linebackers are often captains of a defense. They call the signals. They have the opportunity to affect the game in coverage against the run and, of course, on blitzes. Living in the best of both worlds here. Already has an interception. Now he gets to record a sack, too. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. I'm sure there was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. And this is cool. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And that'll get the deficit down to 15. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Duvernay now going to bring it out. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Well, we're in Baltimore. Third quarter action, second and ten. To throw is Jackson. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On third down, Jackson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Jackson throwing once more. And he'll be 
taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Jackson now. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. As this old green remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw into the hands of Andrews. And they wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Here's Jackson. And that will be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. A great play there with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Ravens take a three-touchdown lead. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and the lead opens up now to 22 points. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Lions take over at first and 10. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Patrick Queen. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. After the interception, here's Jackson. Buying time to his left. And he'll just get rid of him. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Now it's Jackson. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Tucker's kick is good. So after five touchdowns offensively, hey, maybe it's time to get the kicker a little work, and he's able to connect there. I love that empathetic side of you. You're worried about him getting some action, getting to be a part of the game. Well, he got in and got it done. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, it's, let's just say it's been unusual. To throw on second down is gone. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Kyle Hamilton running up from his safety spot and earning the sack. So now following the sack, Goff and the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. 
Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. That's pulled in at the 32. A 55-yard punt that time with a return of about 14. And the Ravens, they'll take over. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. But not that any of the points would be needed, but CD, they've got enough time left here. They could definitely score on this drive, maybe even an ensuing drive as well. He's got it at the 15. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Rashad Bateman with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Ravens start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. Tucker with the extra point. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Goff wants to throw on third and one. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Lions first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. First down. Here's the run with Montgomery. 40 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And quickly they get to the line. Here's Gaw. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. And now the third down throw incomplete is wrong. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Desperation time for Goff on four. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. The Lions turned away on fourth down, and the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. They go play action with Jackson. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. They go play action now. Jackson. And he'll go right back to Andrews. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the 5 to the 3. So the ball position now at the 3. Here's second and goal. Now Jackson. It's complete on the bubble screen. That's Andrews. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And you wonder 
now if he might be able to remove the helmet, put on the baseball cap, and watch the rest of this one from the sideline. His fifth touchdown pass of the game. Say that again. Did you say fifth touchdown pass of the game? Yes, sir. But that's a heck of a performance, isn't it? Because they've got no answer for him at all, all game long. Receivers have been open constantly, and he hasn't missed a single one of them. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. From the gun, here's Goff. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Inside the 20. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side.